All right, everyone. Here we are with ticker symbol B A B A Baba Alibaba Group Holdings. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So before jumping into this chart, Baba has been in an upward trend. Alibaba has been in a bullish run. It led up to these highs here of about 319 and from that point forward it started to fall we're down here right now hanging out at the 260 range it hit a low here that we're going to talk about but before jumping into this chart i just want to go ahead and describe my experience with alibaba because i actually believed in the growth of this company um, leading up to maybe close to 300 i didn't think it was going to reach 300 and i was analyzing this chart back in around may and it was around the 180 and it jumped up to almost 200 it fell to like 193 it jumped up to like 220 and then i started to say okay well i gotta make a decision and i got in on alibaba around may i don't know if you guys remember back at that time or towards the summer how chinese companies were supposed to get delisted and there was a whole speculation with that and then after a while, some articles came out saying, you know, it'll take a couple of years for that to get passed and this and that. It wasn't just something that could just happen, but it was stated and a lot of articles were coming out on it. And then also Lunkin Coffee. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. Any investors coming across this video having the whole scandal of getting delisted. It finally came back. It was like actually being on hold and then it got delisted after running up and so forth and alibaba i got in real early i think it was like 203 204 and i didn't last that long as soon as i saw this hit around like 220 i said i'm out i'm out and sometimes i look at this chart and i just think about you know i could have made one third of my initial investment just holding through a couple of months but you know, there's a few different um, motives that drive every single investor. There's one that's greed, um, which is kind of holding through. And then actually your greed makes you hold to the top, thinking there's another top, even though it's falling and you keep holding and you're caught up in this area where you kind of lose some money. Greed is the one that makes you lose money sometimes. Sometimes it's the one that gets you up to the top. And if for some reason... You feel some drop of uncertainty you get out at the right time or you call that lucky right but there's greed there's speculation and hope and then there's uncertainty and uncertainty is what drove me at that time i want to go ahead and ask every single investor that comes across this video do you remember that time earlier in the year were you one of those investors as well did you jump back in later you know i just want to see what other investors think i mean i actually kind of felt not dumb but kind of felt a little bit like man i got out for no reason and i wasn't going to see those numbers again that i got this for i got it for like about 203 204 if i recall and i was seeing that earnings was going to be spectacular because just thinking about all the online shopping and you know the growth of this company and amazon and this is supposedly like a baby amazon when it comes to china right it's the china amazon but it's a baby amazon in the growth of being valued at amazon's price right per stock someday and right now we're in the 200s and it's going to lead to close to 300 and it broke through 300 and now we're back in the 260s so i would like to share that little note there with every single investor so that you guys are aware that sometimes you know news could make you distort your whole entire view of the chart and the analysis and the technicals and that's why i believe chart analysis are cool because they actually quiet down all the noise and if i would have just kept on viewing it based off the chart and not news and speculation and uncertainty i think i would have probably just kept on writing and watching the behavior of the stock chart but I mean, I made that decision. It's, you know, you live and you learn and it's a learning process. And I hope that every single investor and viewer coming across this video realizes that I do these videos so that we can all learn and grow together. 
and in the process maximize profits and minimize losses but I would like to see anybody else's insight if you guys remember that time of the year when there was a lot of scandal with Chinese companies being delisted and I find it kind of ironic that right now a lot of the Chinese companies are the ones running the most but we're gonna go ahead and see here what Alibaba is showing us because Alibaba has had some downward direction and it just broke through the 50 day moving average today and what we want to pay close attention to for tomorrow so let's go ahead and see here so bearish trajectory for some time and here we are with the lowest point in the bearish trajectory I want every single investor to write that down 252.62 super important number if that gets broken through the volatility of this shifts back downwards and that gets broken through we will see newer lows and the highest point recently reached in this bullish trajectory is our resistance and I want us to go ahead and focus in on these numbers so 50 day moving average is 257.05 257.05 is our 50 day moving average as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory we're currently at 260.02 the moment we're below it we're in bearish territory so what's our resistance well our resistance is 261.40 that needs to be broken through by the bulls and turn into a support to reach newer highs and new resistance levels super important for every single investor to be aware that 261.40 needs to be broken through by the bulls to continue this momentum and stay above the 50 day moving average i want every single investor to be aware of that we're currently at 260.02 and the bulls need to load up on stocks come in hefty continue the momentum and break through resistance which is 261.40 and start to break away to reach newer highs on the other hand we have our support our support is 259.43 if that gets broken through this could be on its way down to newer lows and actually reaching closer to the 50 day moving average i want every single investor to be aware that if 259.43 gets broken through this is quickly going to hit newer lows it's going to start to reach closer to the 50 day moving average and you're going to want to watch if the bulls are on their way down to pull this back up or on the way down with the bears and the bears are dominating this so 259 you're going to want to pay close attention to how this is reacting between the 50 day moving average and support are the bulls trying to reappear or are the bears tearing this one quickly down now the first support level below the 50 day moving average is 256.19 you can write that down if you want to and that's a good point too that if the 50 day moving average gets broken through you could see how the bulls are trying to react within that time frame and if it breaks through the support even if the bulls reappear it's going to get much harder for the bulls to bring this one back up but as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe especially if you're a first time viewer and to first time viewers and my subscribers to double check click on the bell so that you don't miss a single video that i post turn on all notifications you'll be up to date on every single chart analysis and share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money